in the name of Allah, the most compassionate, most merciful. Marked by your Lord, O Prophet, and these stones are not far from the pagan wrongdoers. And to the people of Midian, we sent their brother Shu'ib. He said, O my people, worship Allah. You have no God other than Him, and do not give short measure and wait. I do see you in prosperity now, but I truly fear for you the torment of an overwhelming day. O oh my people, give full measure and wait with justice. Do not defraud people of their property, nor go about spreading corruption in the land. What is left as a lawful gain by Allah is far better for you if you are truly believers and I am not a keeper over you. They asked sarcastically, O Shoaib, does your prayer command you that we should abandon what our forefathers worshipped, or give up managing our wealth as we please? Indeed, you are such a tolerant, sensible man. He said, O my people, consider if I stand on a clear proof from my Lord, and he has blessed me with a good provision from him. I do not want to do what I am forbidding you from. I only intend reform to the best of my ability. My success comes only through Allah. In him I trust, and to him I turn. O oh my people, do not let your opposition to me lead you to a fate similar to that of the people of Noah, or Hud, or Saleh, and the people of Lot are not far from you. So seek your Lord's forgiveness and turn to him in repentance. Surely, my Lord is most merciful, all loving. They threatened, O Shoaib, we do not comprehend much of what you say, and surely we see you powerless among us. Were it not for your clan, we would have certainly stoned you, for you are nothing to us. He said, O oh my people, do you have more regard for my clan than for Allah, turning your back on him entirely? Surely my Lord is fully aware of what you do. O oh my people, persist in your ways, for I too will persist in mine. You will soon come to know who will be visited by a humiliating torment and is a liar. And watch, I too am watching with you. When our command came, we saved Shoaib and those who believed with him by a mercy from us. And the mighty blast overtook the wrongdoers, so they fell lifeless in their homes. As if they had never lived there, so away with Median as it was with Tamud. Indeed, we sent Moses with our signs and compelling proof to Pharaoh and his chiefs, but they followed the command of Pharaoh, and Pharaoh's command was not well guided. He will be before his people on the day of judgment and would lead them into the fire. What an evil place to be led into! They were followed by a curse in this life and will receive another on the day of judgment. What an evil gift to receive. These are accounts we relate to you, O Prophet, of the destroyed cities. Some are still standing barren while others have been mowed down. We did not wrong them, rather they wronged themselves. The gods they invoked beside Allah were of no help at all when the command of your Lord came and only contributed to their ruin. Such is the crushing grip of your Lord when he seizes these societies enriched in wrongdoing. Indeed, his grip is terribly painful and severe. Surely, and this is a sign for those who fear the torment of the hereafter, that is a day for which humanity will be gathered and a day that will be witnessed by all. We only delay it for a fixed term. When that day arrives, no one will dare speak except with his permission. 
Some of them will be miserable, others joyful. As for those bound for misery, they will be in the fire, where they will be sighing and grasping. Staying there forever, as long as the heavens and the earth will endure, except what your Lord wills. Surely your Lord does what he intends. And as for those destined to joy, they will be in paradise, staying there forever, as long as the heavens and the earth will endure, except what your Lord wills. A generous giving without end. So do not be in doubt, O prophet, about what those pagans worship. They worship nothing except what their forefathers worshipped before them, and we will certainly give them their share of punishment in full, without any reduction. Indeed, we had given Moses this scripture, but differences arose regarding it. Had it not been for a prior decree from your Lord, their differences would have been settled at once. They are truly in alarming doubt about it. And surely your Lord will fully pay all for their deeds. He is certainly all aware of what they do. So be steadfast as you are commanded, O Prophet, along with those who turn in submission to Allah with you, and do not transgress. Surely he is all-seeing of what you believers do. And do not be inclined to the wrongdoers, or you will be touched by the fire. For then you would have no protectors other than Allah, nor would you be helped. Establish prayer at both ends of the day and in the early part of the night. Surely good deeds wipe out evil deeds. That is a reminder for the mindful. And be patient. Certainly, Allah does not discount the reward of the good doers. If only there had been among the destroyed peoples before you, O believers, virtuous individuals who forbade corruption in the land, other than the few we had saved from the torment. But the wrongdoers only pursued their worldly pleasures, becoming wicked. And your Lord, O Prophet, would never destroy a society unjustly while its people were acting rightly. Had your Lord so willed, he would have certainly made humanity one single community of believers, but they will always choose to differ. Except those shown mercy by your Lord, and so he created them to choose freely, and so the word of your Lord will be fulfilled. I will surely fill up hell with jinn and humans all together. And we relate to you, O Prophet, the stories of the messengers, to reassure your heart. And there has come to you in this surah the truth, a warning to the disbelievers, and a reminder to the believers. Say to those who disbelieve, Persist in your ways, we will certainly persist in ours. And wait, surely we too are waiting. To Allah alone belongs the knowledge of what is hidden in the heavens and the earth. And to him all matters are returned. So worship him and put your trust in him. And your Lord is never unaware of what you do.